Hi there, today we're unboxing a wireless gaming mouse. So this particular mouse is by Logitech and it's the G Pro Wireless. Details are in the description below for anyone thinking of purchasing. Let's have a quick look around the packaging. So it comes nicely packaged in a small box. Picture the actual mouse itself. Some details on the side here if I come in close. So it has onboard memory on there, just a couple of things to mention and resolution so the dpi is 100 to 16000 they say response rate is 1 millisecond so pretty good in terms of performance and actually has light sync on there as well so if you had one of their gaming keyboards and headsets as well you could have the colors changing in sync and the actual colors it supports is up to 16.8 million okay so let's come round Play to win, light speed hero, 16,000 DPI, zero filtering, zero smoothing, zero acceleration, 80 grams, 50 million clicks. Okay, it's details there, and that's it. Let's open it up and see what we get in the packaging. Okay, so I've laid out all the items you get in the packaging, so let me quickly go through them one by one. So initially you do get this box and that contains the charging cable and these three pieces of paper. So each one of these, just to show. So the first one is important safety, compliance and warranty information. It's multi-language and just opens up into one big sheet of paper. Okay, you've got this one, gives details of replacing the battery. So you remove these pads, these screws and then the battery can be changed. Then some instructions on this. So given details of the buttons you can replace on the side of the mouse. So you can replace these two and these two as well. And the replacements are in that package there. As well as that, it shows information of how to connect it up. So the dongle can be connected to the actual charge cable and that plugged into your computer. On button underneath, power indicator, on the actual mouse if I flip it over distance details there and right hand and left hand usage and actual switching around the buttons for those types of usage okay and underneath some more details about storing the actual dongle away if you wanted to okay and that's it in terms of this package and then next you have this one so this one contains the actual dongle. Just to show that, very nice compact dongle. Bit of a, a rubbery feel on there. The G on there for branding. And size-wise comes in at around 4 centimeters by a centimeter and a half. And thickness is about a centimeter. So one end is micro USB and that can pop off as well and USB on that end okay and what it's showing in the documentation if I take the cable I can just plug it in like so and obviously the other end goes into your PC so noting this cable quality feels good on this rubbery feel to it and in terms of length it's 1.7 meters and a good build quality I have to admit a big chunky connector at the end if I can show that clearly there you go next the actual replacement keys on there so just pop one out just to show this is just to alternate between left and right hand usage so quite cool they give this and provide that facility on there okay so next let me show you the actual mouse so let me come in close just to give you an idea what it looks like. So two buttons at the side here. You've got two here and another two here. Scroll wheel doesn't feel too bad. It's quite nice. And obviously you can press that down as well for selection purposes. Okay. In terms of size, if I bring my ruler in underneath to the top you're talking about 12 and a half centimeters and the width in the middle is about five and a half okay so next let's take the cover off the back 
okay and that reveals a button here uh, an on button for the actual mouse so you can turn it off and a cover here that can be removed so if I take a slight twist on there and push it down comes off and it reveals an area you can actually put the receiver in so quite cool and this is all magnetic so if I just place it back on it just clips back in place which is nice not very heavy at all very light I have to admit and if I come in close just to show the buttons can be taken off if I can show that and there you go it just pulls straight off and that's what you're presented with and you can replace them with the ones you've got in a the box there obviously for left or right hand usage comfort wise it is quite comfortable to hold and a good feel to it okay so I've got an electronic scale here and I'll let me show you the actual weight of the mouse so it comes in at 60 grams that's all it weighs okay so as this is a wireless gaming mouse you're probably wondering what the usage you can expect on this so with the light sync on you can expect to get around 48 hours gaming time on this and if the light sync was off you can expect to get around 60 hours on there so quite impressive okay so the next thing worth showing is the micro USB point just here at the top of the mouse so if I take the cable and the micro USB connector on there has two plastic wings on this side and they actually slot straight in so it really doesn't give the impression that it's a wireless mouse at all so you can use it just like this so if it does run out of power you can plug in and continue playing just like this okay just to show the actual dongle itself so it's actually just this small and this is actually just to assist in connecting to the charging cable so USB on one side and micro USB on the other side so as you're playing what they recommend just leave this plugged in obviously into there so if I push it on like so and if it does run out of power the mouse you can just quickly pull that out and plug it straight into there for convenience okay so another nice feature on this is as I've already mentioned but I'll show it so I can pop open the back, take the actual dongle and plug it in here for storage purposes and obviously put the cover back on there. Okay, so next I'm gonna show how to install Logitech G Hub software. So if I click here in Google and search for Logitech G Hub download. So this software actually allows to customize their products ranging from obviously the gaming keyboards, mice and even the gaming headsets. So. There you go, the first link that's appeared, Logitech G Hub, Logitech support. So if I click on that, okay, scroll down, and this is the one we're after. So I've got Windows 10, and I'll download that, and we'll just do a, a straight run on that. Okay, so by clicking install, you agree to the terms of the end user license agreement. Click install, let's give it a moment. Okay, we'll just double click the icon on the desktop. There you go. Simple as that. We've got it set up now. Okay, so it's picked up the actual gaming keyboard I'm using at the moment on here. Okay, next, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the USB cable that came with it, and the other end's got the receiver on, and I'm going to just plug that into my laptop. So I'll leave that over here. Okay, there you go. Picked it up and what we'll do, flip the mouse over, turn it on, give it a moment. There you go. So you can see the mouse has been added on and the battery levels there. Okay, so now the mouse is added, let's select it and we can see the options we have available. So primary is this area here and logo is obviously the logo that's there. Now, if I click on here fixed, you can see the other color options you have available. On fixed, obviously it's a fixed color 
just to show primaries changed and on there logo logos changed okay if I drop this down go to cycle you can increase that and see it changing color if I go here on cycle there you go speed that up a bit and you can see that changing as well so very impressive okay sync lighting zones so the two zones you have you can have them in sync and you've got sync lighting options and this is where you sync it with other devices if i click there for a moment you can actually get it syncing with another device so there's my gaming keyboard there if i click there as simple as that so both devices are syncing now and changing color okay so next let me go to assignments so these are the actual buttons you have available on the mouse and each one is configurable like i've already mentioned and uh, these are some commands to have as default keys so you can have them coming in so the f keys f1 f2 etc actions macros you can record a macro so you can sequentially have it doing actions okay system there you go things like changing track volume up and down and finally sensitivity so this is a dpi on there so okay so next i want to show the actual dpi side of things so if i flip the mouse over and if you look on the screen the button here actually flips between the different dpi settings and if i show the mouse in action moving very quickly we'll flip it over and go to the slower one you can see slowly moving along there okay so let's go to that one for now now that's not really a convenient place to actually change the DPI. So if we go back into the mouse, go to key assignments and go to system. And we just keep going and there you go, DPI cycle. So I can reprogram one of these buttons. And if I do that, there you go. So the bottom and the side here, so the button just here, is set to cycle on DPI. So there you go, speeds up and slows down. Very simple, and you can have multiple buttons doing the same thing. So obviously G6 is the button underneath the mouse. It's very simple, and obviously when you're gaming, very useful to have that, to be able to flip between the different ones quickly. And if I go back to the assignments, just to show the actual granularity of this, you can go up and down as well on DPIs. So instead of cycle, you can just flip between the two very quickly. So that's very useful to have, I have to admit. Okay, so another thing worth mentioning about the mouse. So one of the options, instead of shifting up and down on the actual DPI settings, you can have a DPI shift button. So what I've done, the actual scroll wheel click, I've assigned DPI shift onto that. So if you look at the screen now, what that enables you to do is flip to the orange value that's there. So if I'm currently on 6,400 and I click DPI shift, it goes to the slower value. So great for games with shooting where you've got a sniper for instance, and you've suddenly gone into sniper mode, hold on to that, get your actual location for the shot, and then shoot, and then release, and then you've got back, gone back to normal mode. So very useful to have that functionality. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to show, the actual receiver itself. So you can see it's plugged in at the moment. So if I unplug it, you'll see it's lost connectivity. And if we actually take the cable, the other end's obviously plugged into my computer, and plug it directly into the mouse. So the receiver's unplugged. Let's give it a moment. There you go, the mouse appears. So you don't have to have the receiver plugged in. And if I go over there, you see all the options available still. 
Okay, as you can see, I've changed the DPI cycle to the scroll wheel click. So I can change options there and go into the actual light sync on there as well. You can amend it on here as well, still works. So great, so you're not relying actually on the actual receiver. You can flip between the two and just have it into a wired state if you prefer that. Okay, so we've got the mouse connected to our gaming laptop and just trialing it out now with Fortnite. Now, in terms of playability with the mouse, it's very good, very responsive, no real lag on there at all. And in terms of DPI action, obviously the buttons are programmable, so we can flip between the different DPI modes very quickly. So we can show you an example of that. So we've got a sniper here. And if it's on the higher DPI setting, for example, and we zoom into an area, let's zoom in, there you go, it's moving quite quickly. And let's take it down to a, a lower DPI setting. And there you go. You can get really good accuracy on there. So there you go, playability wise, it's really good, I have to admit. Okay, so the next thing worth mentioning about this wireless mouse is the fact that you can wirelessly charge it as well. So quite a cool idea here. Okay, so you've seen the unboxing and setup of this Logitech G Pro wireless gaming mouse. Very impressive gaming mouse, I have to admit. The fact that it can work wirelessly and speed you're expecting from this is one millisecond. Buttons are configurable via the app, so is the actual light sync on this, which is impressive. You can turn it off, and if you had it off, you can expect a life usage of 60 hours on this before the next charge. The app is great as well, fully customizable, so nice bit of functionality in there. So there you go. Hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this. Details are in the description below. Thanks for viewing, and don't forget to like and subscribe.